We've got to talk about the wild bombshell backlash and backtrack we've seen with NBC News over the last five days. Because if you didn't hear, on Friday, the network announced that it was hiring Ronna McDaniel, the former chair of the Republican National Committee, as a paid contributor. And this after she, quote, stepped down from her post at the RNC earlier this month. And I say stepped down like that because it's pretty clear that she was pushed out to make more room for hardcore Trump loyalists. And so apparently NBC thought she'd make a great voice to represent the Republican perspective on national politics going into the election season. But then everything fell apart on Sunday when she went on NBC's Meet the Press for an interview. Because the host, Kristen Welker, absolutely made her squirm, confronting McDaniel with past statements of hers saying that the election was rigged and Joe Biden wasn't elected fairly, as well as bringing up a November 2020 call in which she and Donald Trump reportedly urged GOP canvassers in Michigan not to certify the election results. But to most of this, McDaniel answered the questions like a politician, dodging and hedging, saying one thing, then giving credence to something else. Like, for example, when she admitted that Biden was fairly elected, but repeatedly stressed that there were big issues with the election. Because I do think it's fair to say there were problems in 2020. And to say that, does not mean he's not the legitimate Rana, president. When, when she claimed that she only told the election officials to, quote, vote their conscience on the November phone call. Our call that night was to say, are you okay? Are you all right? Vote your conscience. Or when she condemned January 6th, but argued other issues like immigration and crime are more important. I don't think there's any choice but to vote for the I Republican, even though you may have disagreements. And so after all of that, McDaniel left and Welker turned to a panel of journalists, including Chuck Todd, NBC's chief political analyst. And he did not hold back. This man let the missiles fly straight for his own employer. I think our bosses owe you an apology for putting you in this situation, because I don't know what to believe. She is now a paid contributor by NBC News. So I have no idea whether any answer she gave to you was because she didn't want to mess up her contract. She has credibility issues that she still has to deal with. Yeah. Is she speaking for herself or is she speaking on behalf of who's paying her? And look, there's a reason why there's a lot of journalists at NBC News uncomfortable with this because many of our professional dealings with the RNC over the last six years have been met with gaslighting have been met with character assassination. With Chuck Todd adding that it would be more acceptable if she was brought on as a technical advisor to the RNC or if she was vetted first by journalists within the network to see if she brings any actual value to the table. Within the other panelists just absolutely ripping into McDaniel's credibility. I know that she habitually lied. She habitually joined Trump in attacking the press, members of the press, including mm -hmm. this network, in a way that put journalists at risk, in danger. She not only presided, but directed, drove, the QAnonization of the Republican Party during her tenure. But also other big names at MSNBC, like Joe Scarborough, Joy Reid, and Rachel Maddow, also directly calling out their employer for bringing on McDaniel. You wouldn't hire a pickpocket to work as a TSA screener. And so I, I find the decision to put her on the payroll inexplicable. And all of that bringing us to yesterday where NBC ultimately buckled, dropping McDaniel as a contributor, saying in a memo, no organization, particularly a newsroom, can succeed unless it is cohesive and aligned. Over the last few days, it has become clear that this appointment undermines that goal. And so now, reportedly, McDaniel is getting a lawyer to deal with contractual issues. Though the fallout from this stretches even beyond NBC, with The Hollywood Reporter now revealing that CAA, the talent agency that got her the gig in the first place, has now also dropped her as well. And so while we wait to see how the rest of this plays out, I gotta pass the question off to you. What are your thoughts here? Whether with the McDaniel situation specifically and or the general dilemma that seems to be playing out where there's a desire to have a diversity of perspectives included while also not platforming bad actors, right? Crazy people, election deniers.